Yum, yum! Hello, this is Pascal. Let's talk about Marvelous Designer, le merveilleux designer. As you know, Marvelous Designer is a wonderful software to design and create 3D clothing, but that's not what I want to talk about. I'm not a power user of Marvelous Designer. I've done some clothing, like t-shirts and simple pants, things like that. It's very easy to use. But what I really like is that you can also use it to create very simple objects that would be difficult to tackle in a 3D program. So for instance, what we're going to talk about today is something like this. Just a simple bag with uh, oranges in it and the folds are just perfect and I, like the, I love the flexibility that you have in Marvel Designer. So everything in here, except the shading of course, was created in Marvel Designer, including the oranges. So I prepared here the basic uh, shapes we're going to use. I already created one of the balls that's going to be the oranges. It's a series of shapes like this that are just arranged in a circle in the 3D space and then sewn together with uh, some pressure added. I mean, I should say that this video assumes that you know a little about Marvel Designer, at least the basics, which is all you need to know to really start doing some fun stuff with it. So we'll duplicate those to create the the rest of the the oranges. So as I said, there's some pressure with it. And the preset I used was is like uh, what is it called? Leather, strong leather, and I just pumped up the density. Forget the ball for now, and let's talk about the bag. This is the basic shape for the bag, and we're just going to edit it a little. So first, what we're going to do is transform those points into curve points. And this one, this one, and this one. And then edit the curvature. Like this. And this is how I created those also. Basically, you, you start you create a shape like this, and then edit, make those curve points and then edit the shape. All right, so then this next step is that uh, we're going to duplicate this to make to do the other side. But we're going to use this new feature. I think it's new, maybe from five. Clone the symmetry pattern put it over there. So it's like a clone now. Anything I do on this side happens on that side. Okay, so what we need to do is add some points. Because those plastic bags are actually, um, there's a fold at the bottom. Some, some of them they actually fold, like it's folded onto itself at the top, but we're just gonna keep it simple, I'll just do the bottom. So. Add point, gonna add one here, add one here, and then add one here, add one here. And what we want is that this falls onto this side. But first, maybe what we should do is prepare this on. So, we put it in position. It doesn't have to be exactly in front. All right, so this is fine. Okay, let's go back to this part here and start doing some sewing. So we need to sew this part to this part on the sides first, and then this to this. 
Yeah, this one. This one, this one, two, this one. So now before we continue with the sewing, we're going to run a first simulation to get the first basic shape and stop it right there. And what we're going to also do is deactivate the ball and put it out of the way for the moment. And we're going to sew the bottom. So we want this piece to be connected to this one, this one, to this one, and then the bottom to the bottom. And to avoid that the back falls to the floor, we're going to use the pin tool, which allows us to see the mesh. And actually, before we do another simulation, I'm going to make sure that we get quads. All right. And that's better. And just with this tool, we're just going to pin the top of the handles. So now when we run the sim, it stays up there. So this is pretty good, I think. It's holding the shape. Okay. Now yeah, the oranges. Um, first activate, and then we're going to put a bunch in the bag. So copy and paste. We don't need to do the symmetry there. Just move this down. Get more room. Yeah, copy paste. Yeah, paste. It doesn't really matter where they are at the beginning. And maybe two more. Copy and paste. All right, so to make sure they are in the bag, it's easy. You just move the one of the side away. Maybe both. Since the sewing happens before the physics start, this should be fun. So let's see how it goes. Oops. I'm using a tablet here, which is not the best, maybe. All 
Okay. So the other thing is that maybe the fabric for the bag is not the best choice. Let's see if we can find something else. Yeah. Um, let's try this. Silk satin. Yeah, that's better. It holds the ship better. So this is already a good start. I mean, you can you could definitely export that and use it and uh, um, bring an avatar and hang it on something. I mean, this is already something that would be a pain to do in a 3D program. And what I love is that you get these perfect UVs. But uh, to create the image I showed you before, we're just gonna go a step further. So we're gonna go to go to context menu, to the garment, de delete all pins, and then take everything Move it closer to the ground and run the simulation again. So this is not good because the bag falls onto itself. So already already a little better, but I think the would be better if the because they don't roll, so it would be better if we move the oranges up and then this out. This is starting to be fine. Now we can move things around. That's what I love about this, is that it's never finished.
So I didn't want to bore you while I, I did all the little adjustments. What I did is that I just kept pulling the bag until I liked the shape and moved the balls inside, took one out, put it back in until I liked what I had. And uh, now we're ready to export this. So that's very simple. You can check the the UVs here. I mean, I don't really care at this point here because I can adjust them later. You just need to know that uh, they are good and change that later. All right, so save project and then export OBJ. I already exported it, but I'll, I'll, um, that was for the try I did before. So I'll just call it back to because I'm creative and save. So we're on thin, we're on single objects, millimeters, and weld. All that we don't need and export. So we are here in Modo. I've imported the mesh, the OBG, and you can see it's beautiful quads. It comes with a surface normal map, which you need if you do any type of animation. It's attached to the item. So you can move the, the whole item in item mode, but you can't touch the polygons. So in the, our case, I'm going to delete it and then press shift tab to go into P subs. And now we have beautiful result. So all you need to do after that is to shade it. You can edit now the, the mesh if you want need to sculpt it. You can edit the oranges if you feel like uh, adding a stem or something. Well, it's all up to you. And then render. All right, have fun with Marvelous Designer. Bye.